So I am going to teach you a trick called the kayak move. So the kayak move is an off the body hoop move and it's done in our hands. So when you are first learning this, what I would like you to do is always do it in your strongest hand first of all. So the kayak move looks like this. And I'm going to now break it down. So holding it in your strongest hand first, now you need to make sure your shoulders are down and your arms are sort of locked to the side, okay? Now you want to hold palm up facing the ceiling, take a nice grip around the hoop, holding it in your hand so it's, it's like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring it up high and when we come up high we're going to then cut it over. So bringing the arm up, rotate and cut it over. As it comes over, our shoulder should follow its natural rotation, so it shouldn't feel awkward. You'll come up, bring in the hoop up to the side, and you'll cut it back over. So up and over. So you are sort of drawing a figure of eight. It's called the kayak because it's supposed to imitate sort of a kayak move, I guess, if you're kayaking. <laughs> so we always start this in our strongest hand, first of all. Um, I watch a lot of people in my classes get very confused with this move. Uh, what I can advise you to do is just not overthink it. I think the more you overthink a move, the harder it becomes in your mind and then obviously that reflects when you're trying to do the move. So let it flow, okay? So palm up towards the ceiling, gripping that hoop, coming up and over, up and over, up and over. So once you have mastered this in your strongest hand, then you can take your second hand onto the hoop. So you're doing it two-handed. And so as you do this, again, I, I advise not overthinking it. Try not to pause the hoop, because when you pause the hoop, when you start thinking about bringing the other hand on, then you'll, you get confused as where the move's going next. So try and keep that move flowing. And then with the second hand, just place it directly next to your first hand and let it take it over. So now two hands, keep it away from the face. You will need a little bit of space for this as well. If you've got a low ceiling in your house or a chandelier lying above you, uh, not advisable in, in the house. Uh, you may wish to get outside or find a little bit of extra space for it. So keep it away from your face. And then from your two-handed, you can take it into your second hand. So simply take your first hand off and let your second hand take over. Now this is a great move for strengthening the upper arms, but it's also one of our flow moves, one of our trick moves. So with the hooping, there are over 300 different moves, more now, because all sorts of moves have been invented since that figure was uh, uh, recorded a few years ago. So this kayak is a, a nice simple move that can be linked in to a lot of other moves. So when we do our Flow Friday, I will show you how we can link this mood into other moves. Just have a play around, taking it from one hand, two hands, into your second hand, two hands, into one hand. Okay, remember just keeping it away from your face. When you're doing this move, it's still really important to maintain that posture. So keeping the shoulders down, arms locked to the side there. Okay, you don't want to bring the arm too close to you. Just keeping it locked to the side, shoulders down, standing nice and tall. And as always, just being aware of your breath. And then please let me know how you get on with this kayak. It's one of my favourites because it just feels really flowy. That's one of my favourite words, flowy. <laughs> okay, so there we have our kayak move, which is from our flaming.